Alright, what's up, YouTube guys? Uh, crazy man, that sucks with that truck, dude. That really, really, really blows, dude. Uh, I hope Face Jimmy lets you put that other uh, your, uh, Mustang in as an entry, and hopefully everything works out for you. But uh, just want to share a little something with you. Uh, this is one of the first models I ever put together. Uh, it was actually all white. I didn't even paint it. Uh, I did exact box. It looked exactly, <clears throat> exactly like that when I was finished with it. And then I painted another model, and I said, "Well, let me take this one apart." And uh, I didn't like how it came out, so I'm, I'm, this is the car I'm using a lot of parts for and getting them chrome speakers off of, and they got uh, scissor doors, and took super glue and um, a lighter, and kind of did this with the door. Uh, I actually had both of them on, on there; they were both popped open, but I, I, I end up. Oh, see, it's still falling apart. I cracked the body at the bottom of it, like right here. I end up cracking the body, so I just gave up on this car. So I kind of use this as a test car for like polishers, and uh, I'm gonna start to use paint on it. Same thing with this. Uh, this one pissed me off. I got the Enzo Ferrari level three kit, first level four I was gonna try. Everything was going perfect. Uh, the motor was together. I end up putting on the front suspension. That thing pissed me off. I end up super gluing my fingers together. It just it didn't. There's like what is it? One, two, three, three or four pieces, maybe five pieces, including the tire. Just just to put the freaking tire on the car. So. I completely gave up on the Enzo Ferrari, so I have another kit here that I'm going to use for the same thing as that when that wears down, try to use different polishers and paint or whatever on this one, but th this, I, this one pissed me off. I tried to do this thing for three days trying to do this front suspension, and I just gave up on it. I, I, I just, I, I was done with it. Um, and then here's what I got done so far with my uh, Chevrolet, my 70 Chevrolet. All I did was, uh, here's the rims. Now inside the rims, it was all solid. And I don't know if these guys will be able to see, but it was like all solid where it's hollow at. It was all solid chrome in the middle. I took an X-Acto knife and I cut all that out and this is what I came up with. I still got some touch up paint to do to it. But uh, they all actually came out like that too. I did them all like that. So I guess that's as far as custom I'm gonna go with this. Cause I was gonna, like I said, I was gonna try to cut some things out of the car, but I'm just too nervous. So I'm not gonna end up doing that. I'm not gonna mess it up. And then my belts. And then my motor. This is what I got done to it so far. Oh, I suck at this camera. That's what I got done to my motor so far. I think it's turning out pretty good. Uh, it took me a little while to do it, but. Slowly but surely, I'll get there. It'll get going. Um, but yeah, like I said, crazy man, that that freaking blows, dude. About your Jeep. <laughs> These models are a little pain in the butt, but they get to, they're starting to get fun for me actually, cause it kind of just like mellows me out when I'm doing it. So takes the stress away from work and all that so I actually work in sales all day and it just sucks dude <laughs> that's what I got to say about that it sucks but uh yeah, that's what I got done so far with my model I think it's turning out pretty good I'm pretty happy I did this because I didn't like the rims that I didn't like the original way they looked so I did my own thing it took like 
don't know, like 45 minutes for each little uh, for each little rim. I guess another f five, ten minutes painting them. Uh, it's actually chrome. I uh, I sanded them down. I put a sandpaper on a Q-tip, taped it on there, and got in the little holes. And I took them downstairs to my basement, and I had some black tester spray paint. And I spray painted them to kind of hide the chip marks. You know what I mean? Cause uh, it wasn't look when I first did it, it wasn't looking good, but I'm happy they came out the way they did. I think they actually look better this way than they did in the original kit. And I painted them um, gold. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm undecided about the body color. Cause uh, you know I gotta save up a little bit of cash to go get the the dupa color. Cause that crap is expensive. But uh, yeah, that's what I got so far, fellas. Uh, that's about it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't know what else to say. But, uh, uh, I don't know. Just uh, hit me up and let me know what you guys think about them rims, man. Them rims were pain of the butt. But, get your done. Alright, fellas, I'll talk to you.